Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing very well. Anyways, today's kind of an exciting video because I'm going to be talking a little bit about my first article that has actually been published for RayWenderlich.com. So RayWenderlich.com, they do a lot of um, kind of tutorials for, you know, iOS and Android development. And they also have a Unity development section. Um, so I am now an author for RayWenderlich.com. And I'll be publishing um, articles from time to time. So this is my first article. It's an introduction to Text Mesh Pro in Unity. Um, I'm already working on my second article right now. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but if you are more into kind of the intermediate uh, levels of programming in Unity, then you know you're really going to enjoy this next article that I have coming up. Um, so stay tuned for that in just a couple months. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about um, my first article that I wrote, the introduction to Text Mesh Pro in Unity. Um, so I'm going to be kind of like going through my sample project and showing you some of the things that you'll be learning. Um, if you do follow along with this tutorial. Now this is a written tutorial and it's pretty long. Um, it is a beginner level tutorial. Um, you do just kind of need a little bit of familiar, familiarity with how to use uh, the Unity game engine, but no coding experience is required whatsoever. Basically everything that we're doing um, is inside the editor. As you can see, I'm kind of just doing a scroll through it here um, and pretty much you're seeing a bunch of like editor window stuff. Um, so we actually don't even get into any of the coding side of using Text Mesh Pro uh, because there are a lot of really cool configurations that you can do with Text Mesh Pro. Um, and I do showcase that in kind of my sample project here. So I will show that off now. And so basically my idea for the sample project was to create a text-based adventure game where the style of the text is basically kind of styled in such a way that it kind of matches what is going on in the story. And then for the tutorial, I basically kind of like walk through showing you how to make all those different style configurations. So I'm just gonna kind of read through it real quickly. So it's called, again, it's called Into the Attic. And we can just press the begin button to enter. Uh, so one rainy night in the middle of January, bang! The crack of nearby thunder abruptly wakes me up. As I lie in bed, I hear the wind begin to pick up outside. Suddenly, I hear a sharp crash down the hall. Something sounds broken. I need to see what is going on. I make my way down the hall, go towards the kitchen, these old wood floors are creaking just a little bit more tonight. I find the wind has blown open the kitchen window, knocking over my grandmother's vase. I need to get a room to clean this up. I open the closet door and then... Bang! Thunder again. This time it knocked out our power. I stumble around the kitchen drawer and grab the flashlight, managing to not cut myself in the process. Knock, knock, knock. What? Is someone there? No, that's coming from above. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, I need to see what that is right now. The glass can wait. I creep over to the trap door that goes up to the attic. I open it and bring the ladder down. I climb up, 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 up into the attic. Knock, knock, knock. Yep, definitely coming from up here. I start crawling towards the sound, moving dusty boxes out of the way. Knock, knock, knock. I slowly move one particularly large box. Knock, knock, knock. It stopped. I point my flashlight around looking for the source of the sound. Then I see a golden skull materializing before my eyes. It just looks at me and says, sorry. Before I can even process what I'm seeing, the skull fades into darkness. Um, what? Should I be scared? Should I just go clean that glass up? Yeah, I think I'll just go back to bed the end and then of course if you want to play through it again we can do that um, but that is the sample project into the attic you know as you see um, we're doing all kinds of configurations we start with you know really basic things you know just showing you how to basically put text on the screen and then I show you how to you know do some color options on the text here 
Um, of course, moving along, there's some further color options by using actual gradient right here. Um, and then I show you kind of how to like do italicization, I guess would be the word, um, doing making the words inside italic um, and also words inside the middle of a sentence, just showing you how to make them um, colored. I'm showing you how to do some indentation here. So kind of some basic things. And then now we're going into like uh, some overflow settings. So basically these are actually two different text boxes right here, um, but we have this whole string of text sitting in this top text box and then it actually overflows down to the bottom one. As you see here, we have a little icon of a flashlight and I show you how to actually put those like icons inside your text there. Um, and then as actually go up, up, up into the attic, of course I show you how to do that little effect there. Um, you know, when we actually get into the attic, now I show you how to actually create your own uh, new text mesh pro text assets. So you can use basically whatever font you want. I show you, you know, the whole process of creating a new, uh, of like basically using new fonts in text mesh pro, um, you know, how to set all the options properly and everything. Um, and then I do some kind of like cool, like configurations. I know this, you know, it maybe is not the most pretty looking text on some of these screens right here. Um, but you know, it, it is really cool. The things that you can do, you can basically make like little presets, um, of certain configurations, and then you can basically just kind of swap those presets in and out. So it's, it's a really powerful feature of text mesh pro that I kind of show you how to use here. Uh, now this one's kind of cool. We actually have, uh, the texture of the text is kind of like moving in the background. Um, as we are, you know, moving this particularly large box. And then finally, just kind of at the end, I just show off a few last kind of little um, deeper configurations. This is kind of where I like challenge you as the reader a little bit um, to kind of like make these, to like recreate these effects on your own just by using some of the uh, configuration options that I see here. Um, and then here's kind of like another one where we have this like cool, like kind of outline effect and the text is like kind of like fading in and out, it looks like almost. And then that's basically it. So once again, I will leave a link in the description where you can follow along with this article. Um, it is a pretty long article. It's like over 4,000 words. Uh, it took me a long time to write. So I really do uh, hope that you, you know, go check it out, give it some love give it a nice rating, you know, give me some comments on there, uh, some feedback, always open to hearing your feedback to figuring out how I can like, you know, improve these future articles. And so once again, I definitely will let you know um, when my new articles are coming out. I, I'm definitely, you know, excited about this um, kind of like new venture of me being an author for raywunderlich.com and just being able to kind of like explore different topics that I may not be exploring on this YouTube channel. Um, and be able to kind of like express myself in a written form because I do enjoy writing as well. So anyways, that's gonna be about it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about Unity video game development. Of course, if you do have any questions for me, suggestions for future videos, um, or maybe even some suggestions for future articles that I can write on raywenderlich.com, please let me know in the comment section below or over on Discord at tmg.dev slash Discord. Anyways, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.